beautiful blessed people okay so there's been a lot I'm actually kind of surprised at how my people are experiencing the same thing and how much of a revelation the parasite our demons video was for a lot of us so um, I'm gonna do more detailed video about how to deal with candida like how to deal with the yeast the mold the fungus the parasites in our body but I think a lot of you are looking for some relief right now okay so I'm going to um, share some things you can do right now to relieve some of the uh, the suffering that some of yours are experiencing due to mold yeast fungus if you want to call candida bacterial infections I'll go over really quick what we're dealing with and then we will I'll give you some quick things that actually that I have done over the years not realizing that I was actually fighting <laughs> candida and um, and then we can go from there okay I hope you're all doing well what is cancer cancer is an uncontrolled division of abnormal cells in a part of the body okay so we're dealing with cancer when we're dealing with candida we're dealing with cancer when we're dealing with yeast we're dealing with cancer when we're dealing with nail, nail fungus pink eye all those are a fungus because they're an abnormal cell developing in some part of the body right and we discussed the only difference between cancer that they have just called blatantly cancer or some of them are leukemia depending on the part of the body that it's in is that they're in an enclosed space and the other ones are so ecto or endo parasites endo parasites are parasites that are inside the body so that would be worms and ecto parasites are things that are outside of the body now i'm going to say i already listed a couple endo parasites are things like yeast infections and um whooping cough asthma things that are infect the inside of the body but then it can speak that we can see the evidence of it through the excretions of like coughing you see like in um phlegm mucus um that kind of thing pink eye you see discharge there ectoparasites i didn't list this before this is things like psoriasis eczema acne those kind of things are things that manifest themselves outside of the body that give evidence that there are abnormal cells developing in the body okay um, and so we are the hosts. We, because of the nature of how our body is, in a particular alkaline state, become a welcoming host to these parasites. Okay? Our bodies have a pH. That's the normal pH for a body, a healthy body, is 7.5 on a scale from 1 to 5. So we're, what you're trying to do is aim for about 7.5. Now, that is not complicated. It sounds complicated because you're thinking it has to be math and you always people worry about what they're eating what they're not eating. It's not for it's not difficult at all. The body wants to maintain homeostasis, which means that the body fights to be healthy, okay? To maintain that level of pH. The only problem is we're dealing with parasites. Demons or parasites are things that uh, evoke or provoke us to to eat things that aren't healthy dandruff is another side of a parasite and athlete's feet athlete's foot <laughs> is another one warts as well okay all right so let's i'm actually um i'm going to share another story right now my daughter my second eldest has been experiencing some challenges with her knee now this isn't new when she when we were when she was little I asked my mom to move into her home to save to buy a house and when when I'm my mom at one point eventually agreed to it and when I did move there this particular daughter was very very thin but not because I wasn't feeding her it's because what I fed her my kids I what I feed them is very it's always been very healthy I've always been very health conscious so they ate but they also were free to play and be active and I, I didn't give them a lot of sweets so when we moved there she was very thin and uh, when i was while i was there uh, i was in the process of preparing myself like i said to to buy a house save and look for a house and so oftentimes i would leave my children with my mom to, for her to watch them unbeknownst to myself <laughs> unbeknownst to me my mom was giving my dog my mom used to work at a, a cookie bakery um in toronto i won't even give the name of it but she was able to get cookies at a very cheap price. I mean, there was always cookies coming to our home, and then her, staying with her for a bit, there was always cookies in her house. So she was giving my daughter like rolls, 
like uh, I think um, according to the box a serving of cookies is three she was giving my daughter rolls of cookies I guess in her mind she felt like she was thin and that she wanted to I guess either fatten her up or whatever and I don't, I'm not too sure exactly I mean they were all growing but she started to develop pain in her knee I I didn't understand she didn't understand it either to the point where she couldn't walk it was crippling to her I went to the doctors he couldn't figure out what it was and um, and she was growing but she was also getting thicker but I just thought oh, naturally her growing but I didn't, I didn't know at this point that she was getting these cookies so I went to the doctors he didn't know what it was but he gave her crutches so that she could go to school it was to the point where the crutches were where like were um, bruising her under her arm and she she had to take the elevator she had to have a buddy at school and she had to take the elevator up and down because her classroom was on the upper floor it was ridiculous it, it crushed her self-esteem anyway when we moved my mom's eventually this subsided I don't know what caused it I don't know what stopped it at the time I didn't okay so now we're fast tracking fast fast forwarding to now where I've discovered what's causing my acne right and I talked about my childhood and what you know the sweets that I was using to pacify myself and how that started my daughter is presently experiencing the same thing but my daughter right now is a she's a like a in her early she's just about to approach her 20s her birthdays in, in a couple days and she's been eating basically to because she's a social person she eats out a lot with her friends so she decided in her infinite wisdom to not buy groceries but to eat out when she's good. so eat, it's like she does what I do she kind of eats like once a day maybe twice a day but she eats on the road so she'll eat fast food so now she's discovering that the pain that she had in her knees coming back she doesn't know what it is I just shared with her that it's candida it's, it's, it's the the manifestation of what she had before that we didn't know what it was and that when her diet changed when she was with me with all the more of the vegetables lean we're eating meats then, but lean meats that the candida went away so now, now we're, we're at the point where I'm going to share with you what I did, the things I've been doing to make me healthy without even the fasting. So things that you can do right now without fasting to, to relieve some of the pain and the pressure that you're experiencing. Cut out all sugar, including fruit, for at least a week or two. This, the sugar, the refined sugar, is what feeds parasites. But the reason why I say all sugar is because the tend the t the natural sugar is kind of like a gateway to wanting sugar. Period. It, natural sugar doesn't make you crave sugar, but once you have a like a t a taste and a yearning for just fruits and, and whatever, people can slip sugar into your food, and you just think nothing of it, right? It's just it respond our body responds to it differently. So far, I would say for the first two for two weeks, let's cut out sugar completely. I didn't say cut out food, just sugar. So. Focus more on things you enjoy eating that are savory. Um, add a lot of uh, sea salt, not a lot, but add sea salt to your diet. Um, deep greens, really deep greens, salad, a lot of salads, uh, beans. Uh, I'm going to say I wouldn't eat broccoli because I know that how it's, it's actually not naturally uh, made or grown. But if you are a person that eats broccoli, I would say broccoli. Things that are really deep green. If you're going to add dressing, I would suggest that you make your own because the dressing that you're going to buy are going to have hidden sugars in them and other things that you probably don't need. If you can't help but to buy dressings, just look for ones that are more savory, the ones like Greek. I'm going to say anything that that's not a sweet version of a dressing. I'm going to give you a couple recipes, quick, just quick recipes of dressings you can put on your on your. Uh, on your lettuce on your salad uh, what else garlic and I'm gonna uh, garlic garlic what you can do is take a clove of garlic chew it up and swallow it do that once twice maybe th three times a day you're working towards that and then you continue to add more. The only problem, the reason why I don't suggest garlic so much is because once you eat garlic, your whole body smells like it. Like when I was doing this garlic therapy, it does work. It kills viruses, it kills bacteria in the body. But it, you smell like garlic for, like, I mean your whole body, you exude garlic. <laughs> it's like you're a walking uh, steak. So if you don't, if you're in a situation where you're exclude, like you're um, 
away from people for a while and you don't want to offend people with the smell then I would do it but other than that it's garlic is very strong and it's a very abrasive smell but it works cloves what I also what I've been doing since I did my 40 day fast like when the, the period when I discovered that um uh, I had the parasites. People were giving me all this advice, and they were saying cloves. And I'm very familiar with cloves because my mom used to cook with it a lot, so I I knew where to get it um, at a good price. So I I got cloves, and I would just take a handful, maybe five to seven of them, and just chew it up and swallow it. The thing with with the garlic cloves and all the things I'm going to mention is that you're going to feel your body respond to it. You're going to feel um, it working. You're going to feel. I know when I take cloves, and I've been. Um, and I have it in a while, I feel a little bit, a little bit lightheaded. So whatever I'm sharing with you right now, look into it first of all. First of all, pray. Seek the Father, our Heavenly Father about it for your, or your, your uh, personal journey. And then, um, play with what works with you. Like this, your situation, what you're used to, what you're familiar with, what you have access to. Okay, um, what else? So cloves, garlic. Include raw onion in your like salad. So what I do is if I'm making a salad or anything, anything that um, is savory, sometimes I'll, I, more, I more gravitate towards either green onions or red onions. So the green onions, the tall lengthy ones are a little sweeter. Or the red ones, um, rich in color. Something about things that have are rich in color are, are really good for you. I'm not too sure exactly how it works. It helps to alkaline the body, but I'm not sure how it does, but it does. So I, I would suggest cutting up like if you, I like it chunky, but right now I'm really used to having it. So I eat it, sometimes I eat it just with my avocado, just bite into it and then and that's it. A little bit of sea salt. And then I eat some cloves to kill the smell <laughs> or the taste of the smell of my breath. But um, add that to your dressing. What else do I do? Oil of oregano or oregano, just fresh oregano or dried oregano. Add it to your, add abundance of it to your food. Make your own spaghetti sauce and um, add it, to, add it to your spaghetti sauce. Make your your food rich in oregano. Oregano is amazing. I'll tell you another <laughs> story. It's very short. When my girls, when I discovered oil of oregano, I used it for everything, and my daughters they hate the taste of it, but because it works so well, they will. They will allow me to, to kind of like um, put some in their mouth and I'll give them something to drink after to wash it down because it works that fast. Like if they start to get a little sniffle or a little cough, if I give them a few drops of oil of oregano, it's, it's totally gone. It's amazing. Citrus. Citrus fruit. Now I would say oranges, but like I said, we're, we're trying to avoid sugar for right, just for the first two weeks. So lemon, if you wanted to... Uh, I'll give you a, a, two recipes for dressing and then you can, one of them um, includes um, lemon, but add lemon. Have a glass of water and lemon in the morning and before you go to bed. Lemon is an uh, amazing tool to alkalize, the to alkalize the body. It's amazing. And I know because it's sour you think that it's acidic. No, it doesn't. For some reason it, 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 al it alkalizes the body so it's a great lemon. Lemon and lime. What else? Baking soda. Baking soda is incredible. It helps to alkalize the body. It is, it uh, neutralizes. It's a neutralizer, and our bio, our body naturally makes. It's called um, um, sodium bicarbonate. That's what the, that's its natural name, or the name it's been given. The, our body our bodies actually make it. The, the only thing is that um, I'm not sure exactly what happens when we um, we eat the foods that uh, um, acidify our body, but our bodies does our body does naturally make sodium bicarbonate which means our body like I said is fighting to maintain a normal pH okay so those are a few things that um, you can you can do right now I would look into this people who have fought cancer are using all these things and it's working it works quickly and it works um, it's a, it works quickly and it works uh, efficiently all right so again garlic cloves, greens, like salads, tons of salads, cut out the sugar for two weeks at least, and what else, Let, citrus fruit, just the ones that aren't sweet for, for, for the beginning for now, and um, onion, ginger, I forgot to mention that, ginger as well, ginger is great for um, killing parasites. I'll go into more detailed 
um, information about those. And um, I want you, I want you to be able to do a little bit of research on your own. So look into some therapeutic ways to use these. Like so, I'm, when I say therapeutic, I mean like how many times a day to do it. Um, for people who have been successful in using these, okay? If you, I use all, whatever I come in contact with, whatever I have access to. If it's lemon, I have lemon. I, sometimes I suck on a lemon. If it's oh, also another one. Wow, apple cider vinegar, fantastic. If you have that, you can actually. I'll link, put in the link in the description box about how to make your own. I'm not too sure. I, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure you can still go to like farms and pick your own apples. Or if you have a neighbor, if you have apple trees that are making apple, or have apples you don't even use, great time to invest in making some apple cider vinegar. It takes four weeks to manifest, and it's great for alkalizing the body. Okay. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Remember, you are made marvelously. I truly do love you, and our Heavenly Father loves you so much more. Please dialogue in the, co the comment section and welcome it. And um, if you have any ideas about how you've successfully fought off these parasites that we're dealing with. A couple things I didn't mention. Refined sugars, we want to cut, cut out refined sugars, but also anything that the body recognizes or produces or produces, uses to produce a sh sh the equivalent to sugar. So I would say anything white, like starchy, potatoes, rice, for two weeks, just try and avoid those if you can, but more so refined sugar, okay? Like the white granule stuff. In relation to the two dressings I was going to mention, the two dressings, okay. The first one, these are two very simple. If you, if you um, want to make a dressing and make it healthy and savory for the two weeks, one is an avocado. If you, I don't know if you've ever heard of niswa salad. So what basically what you do is you um, you would get um, plum or plum tomatoes, um, plum tomatoes, tuna, uh, green beans. Uh, what else? green beans, uh, can't, corn, if you're into corn, I don't eat corn, but if you're into corn, just to give a little bit of, I know it is a little bit sweet, but just to give a little bit, a little, just a little bit, uh, olives and kale. So what I do is I have all those ingredients, leave the kale aside, all those ingredients together, together, and the dressing is avocado, a little touch of olive oil, oregano, a little bit of garlic and um, sea salt and you just mix all those up make it creamy and you mix that with all those vegetables and you make a wrap with the kale out of all those vegetables and you have yourself and the tuna and you have yourself a niswa like a niswa wrap and you can do the same just cut up the kale as a salad the same ingredients Oh, one thing, other thing, I, I usually add um, red onions too. So I cut up the red onions really thin or the way you like it, the whatever you like it um, cut up. So it could be chunky, could be cut up and diced, could be sliced into um, strips. When peppers, green peppers, red peppers, fantastic. Um, and so altogether, that is basically a savory salad. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing um, um, sweet added to it. It's all natural and it's so tasty. Um, that's one dressing and that's the one kind of salad. Another one would be um, like a Caesar, a Caesar made from tahini. Tahini is like a sesame seed, like a sesame seed spread. Just plain sesame seed and oil. So basically what you do is you get lemon, lemon, ju lemon juice, squeeze a lemon and some sea salt. Mix it together and it tastes just, well, almost exactly like Caesar. If you wanted to add some Parmesan, I would say we could do that because this sa sa parmesan is not sweet savory if you if you eat um, if you drink milk if you're into cheese, but basically that combination right there is a fantastic uh, alternative to Caesar dressing. Okay, and you just cut up your kale or your collard greens or whatever your romaine, and you add those to it. I would avoid croutons because bread um, would your body kind of recognizes when it breaks it down as a sugar okay for now so just have your you can add maybe walnuts almonds that kind of thing to give it a crunch 
maybe um for your for your uh, Caesar the Caesar add some boiled egg if you eat egg or some grilled chicken all right fantastic it tastes amazing those are two recipes for you right there that you can try for the two weeks you can incorporate your own little thing do your own little thing you, you could even do a taco a taco salad just have your cut up your kale and then you have your um, I would like quick kick your um, your kidney beans and your and instead of making um, like a cook everything plum tomatoes again plum tomatoes or cher cherry tomatoes um, your peppers your um, and season it with like the stuff you would do with chili so just just don't cook it and if you want to cook it you can but like to, just so you can get the real the raw ingredients into your system without having to like torture yourself with just raw like popping a, a clove of garlic cook the things you know you should cook 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 the, the kidney beans please well, that stuff needs to be cooked but in regards to like the red the red onions and the peppers the cayenne and the paprika that kind of stuff you can do that raw and add to your cilantro is actually very good also to fight parasites and it's so tasty and then you, you can if you eat cheese you can sprinkle a little bit of very old a little bit of very old cheddar to give it a little bit of punch and or you can add a maybe a little dabble of um, um, a little dabble a little uh, bit of the uh, tahini dressing the Caesar dressing to give it a little bit of punch but there's ways to make this so it's not a torturesome situation right and still just and, and, and really heal the body and think of this as a lifestyle change as opposed to um, just something you do right now because candida is something that will you know, think those kind of things they come they want to come back I mean we're exposed to it. it's all around us right okay so hopefully that was helpful remember you are made marvelously I love you so much and if you don't know that by now I don't know what you're thinking <laughs> and our Heavenly Father loves you so much more until next time be blessed okay